We're going to be demonstrating what to teach a patient who has chronic bronchitis. Our scenario is a 36-year-old Native American woman with a productive cough and wheezing. She wants to know why she feels so tired. So, good morning. I'm Nick. How are you doing today? Um, not so good. I really want to get my lungs cleaned. I just don't feel tired. We're going to try and help you out. I'm going to perform a spirometry test to determine how much air you're able to exhale from your lungs and how fast you can get that air out. This test is going to help the doctor determine your diagnosis. Yeah, I don't know how to do that thing. I'll show you what to do. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I'd like you to scoot forward your chair just a little bit. If at any point during the test you can visit your light at it, just set the machine in your lap and go ahead and lean back. This machine wants to know how hard and how fast you can move. You're going to take in the biggest breath you've ever taken in your life. Mouthpiece in the mouth, blast the air out as fast as you possibly can, and keep going and pretty much until I tell you to stop. The machine's going to beep. If it's beeping, there's air coming out. And a little trick to help you out is when you put the mouthpiece in your mouth, lift some teeth through over, tongue goes underneath. And I'll coach you through it as you go. So go ahead and take a nice big breath in. Mouthpiece in the mouth and blast it out. Keep going, keep going, fast as you can. Go, 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 keep going. And stop. <laughs> take a deep breath. Okay. I'm going to take these results to your doctor. They're going to look at how much air came out of your lungs compared to how fast you got it out. And then we'll talk to you in a couple days about your about what they found. Um, for brevity's sake, we're only going to do this once. Normally, that would happen about three to eight times over a course of about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to two days later for the follow-up appointment. So. Hello again, I'm Nick. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm okay. See, so the doctor's told you to get COPD. Two other nurses and I are going to help you understand what it is and what you can do about it. Yeah, actually, my doctor's COPD stands for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and chronic bronchitis is a specific type of disease that falls under that category. Okay, that's so what I'd like you to know is there are a few things happening here. What happens with chronic bronchitis is that some infected like smoke <coughs> and dust has repeatedly irritated the line of your airways, called your bronchi and your bronchioles. These irritants make the cells lining your respiratory tract they multiply, including the cells that produce mucus. So this growth, combined with the extra mucus, has now reduced the diameter of your breathing passages. Are you coughing a lot? Yeah, I'm, I'm constantly coughing at mucus. <laughs> also in healthy bronchi, there are cells, tiny hairs called cilia, on the outside of your cells. They work like an elevator that need mucus out of your airways. Smoke or other irritants can destroy the cell. So in your lungs, the elevator's not working very well. The mucus gets stuck, and you have to cough a lot to get it out. So to recap, your airways are getting smaller and smaller. The extra cell growth in the mucus is stuck. And all this irritation and congestion makes it harder for you to get air out of your lungs. It causes inflammation, and it makes you more susceptible to getting bacteria. So I see. 
um, frequent infection, each short spread. Um, with the frequent infections, um, there, you know, a lot of times in the winter when it's cold, you can expect that. Oh, but I still don't really understand why it's tired all the time. I have to keep using work for leave or I'm so exhausted by the end of the day. Well, yeah, why? I think I can explain that. Because of Good. Well, that will help you 